Uh, Adam, just want to ask you how things were back in Sweden with COVID. I know it was uh, much tighter here in North America, and it seemed like uh, COVID never hit Sweden. The, the, the restaurants and such were open, and I presume the skating rinks and stuff too. Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, it's a lot of COVID there, but we did. I guess we didn't kind of treated this situation differently, and uh, I mean, nothing like you said shut down really, and. I mean, you still have a lot of respect for, for it. And I think that's, I don't know what, what the Swedes did pretty good job of from, from the start to, to respect it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could live pretty, pretty normal life back there when I was home. So that was, that was nice, but you still have a lot of respect for it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a fine line. Next, next question, sorry, from Tony Brower. Hey, Adam, uh, safe and well. Uh, just a question on returning to play. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty of what exactly it's all going to look like when it all comes to fruition. But you have a familiar D-pairing partner in Oscar Clefbaum. Just how much does that kind of help with you easing back into things and getting back on the ice with a familiar face? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, he, uh, he's a great partner that I've been playing with for a long time now. So we know, a lot. We know, know each other really well and I mean now and when, when we're back and we've been I don't know halfway through training camp it's um it's an exciting time especially now when it comes to comes to playoff next question uh Daniel Nugent Bowman Daniel go ahead uh hi Adam it's, it sounds like you have a, a couple of uh, Swedish players living with you at your house right now I'm just wondering kind of what went into that decision to do that and also um for Philip Rober what kind of uh housemate or a roommate is he uh well he's a he's a really nice kid and i mean going through quarantine alone would be pretty tough and it's good to have, have all my swedish friends there and uh yeah it's a good uh, good crew that we're we're getting along pretty well so far but still a long way to go uh, next question from mark specter there we go <clears throat> uh, uh Adam, two questions. Were you, who are the guys that lived with you at the house or that are living with you at the house? And were you on social media last night when the flooding was going on at Rogers? And what'd you think? Uh, yeah, it's Broberg and Nygaard are staying in my place. And then obviously Clef is there a lot too. So, um, and about last night, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate to see that something like that happened when we we're so close to, to playing, but the arena seems, seems fine right now and yeah we're I guess we're lucky in some way. Uh, next question uh, from Jason Greger. Jason as soon as your microphone is uh, ready go ahead. Go ahead Jason. Uh, hi Adam hope things are well. You've had now this is the first week of a training camp. It's very different than anything you've experienced before. Usually in a regular training camp you're getting into a preseason game right away. What are you looking at focusing on to ensure that your game is up to par come uh, August 1st? Is there anything specific for a D-man that you're looking to iron out here over the next 10 days? Well, I think it, it's getting up to speed and get the conditioning back. I mean, most of the guys have been off the ice for quite some time and uh, obviously have been skating by ourselves for, for a couple of weeks or whatnot. But I, I mean, just getting back to speed and get back into shape and obviously – it's not a regular season we're going into right now. It's it's playoffs and playing, and I mean every every play is going to be on the line. But I think that's um, just looking at these first couple of days. It looks like the team is is ready and prepared. And I mean, in playoffs it's it's a lot of mental mental aspects to, to go into it. So it's uh, it's fun times ahead for us. Uh, next question will be from uh, Jim Matheson. Uh, Jim, your microphone should be open momentarily, so just go ahead. Go ahead. A couple of things, Adam. Uh, Philip Broberg, you mentioned him. What do you see from him on the ice? And the other question I have for you is, normally you would play an 82-game season and then go three days later into the playoffs and your body would be kind of worn down from playing the 82 games. How is this different now when you've been off for so long? to have a fresh body it's almost like probably showing up for training camp in September uh yeah I mean it's obviously nice to to get 
three months or whatever off and recover your body. But it's, um, I mean, once you once you hit the grind with camp and camp and all that, obviously you should feel fresh, recovered mentally and physically. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. And playoffs is uh, something everybody wants to be in. So it's. It's different, almost a different kind of sports in the playoffs. Everybody raised their game, and uh, that's what we're looking to do, too. Um, and your, your first question, Groberg, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, the sky's the limit for a guy. He skates really well for being such a big guy. He's strong, big, strong, good hockey son. So you got all the keys and all the tools to be a really, really good player in this league. Okay, uh, we'll take two more questions from Adam Larson, and then uh, we have Oscar Clefbaum waiting. Uh, next question, Tony Brar. Tony, go ahead as soon as your microphone is active. Adam, I know you said uh, Philip is living with you, but how have you approached being a mentor for a young Swede like that? Well, I mean, everything, like, everything that comes from off ice to, to on ice, and he's, like, he wants to learn. Uh, so it's he's easy to deal with and he's such a good kid that thrives to be better every day and I think that's uh, for being a young guy that's the key to want to learn listen and learn and that's what he's doing and one final question for Adam uh, Daniel Nugent Bowman go ahead Daniel Hi Adam I'll, ju I'll just uh, kind of follow up to my first question about kind of the house situation there and you and you and Philip are are quite you know. There's a little bit of an age difference there. How are you trying to uh, kind of relate to him and, and kind of ease him along? And what what types of things are you guys doing to kind of pass the time uh, away from the hockey rink? Uh, well, it's I guess now when we're staying at home a lot. I mean, it's kind of different lifestyle we're living right now. We're not out in restaurants. We're not doing the things you normally do uh but now it's more it's a lot of movies playstation try to sit in the sun when the sun is up so that's i mean it's pretty easy living right now thank you very much adam